Hey, if you are here, you probably use AutoCAD in a regular basics, and you might be feeling that you are doing something the long way. So today, uh, I collected a few things um, to that many of us are doing wrong in AutoCAD. And also, I'm going to give some uh, techniques to show you a better way of doing it, all right? All right, so let's start with the first thing that I believe many of us were doing wrong or are doing wrong in AutoCAD, which is exploding blocks. Yes, basically, I have this example over here and I have this door block, right? Um, but I need a double uh, door on this storefront. And what many people do wrong is, um, since of course you cannot just uh, mirror this door over here, right? Because of this uh, small trim or hinge. So what many people will do is explode this block, all right? Exploding that block. And then they, they will fix their block, erase it, and then of course mirror it and so on. But there is a, this is the wrong way to do it because uh, first of all, your layers will be messed up as well as if you do that. And most of the time, uh, especially in an office, many people are working in the same drawing. So let's say you save your drawing and you have doors over here that are blocks and this is exploded. So let's say your um, coworker wants to change this block. Let's say you want to make it a, a 45 degree angle or something this won't update because it is exploded already so that's uh something wrong that people are doing and let me show you now a better way of doing it all right so let me undo that using the control c on my keyboard and right now it's a block so a better way of doing this is simply using the xclip command so this basically what it does is it's going to hide a portion of your block so you don't have to explode it and then give headaches and issues to your coworkers or even your boss, right? So once you do that, XClip, you'll have many options over here. And for this specific example, what we need is the gener new boundary. So click, and then we're going to pick polygonal because we're going to need these options so you once you click that then we can go and click here over here here and then get closer over here and then finally i can press enter so once you do that you can see that you hide it one portion of your uh, door block and it's still a door as you can see nothing changed you still have the same door that are over here so at this point i can mirror this block as i need it using the mirror command like so now finally you can hide these uh, weird lines for the x clip using the x clip frame option so like that, X click frame, press enter. And then if you set it to zero and press enter, you will have your double uh, door, which are still blocks, right? But you didn't explode it. And this is a much uh, better way to do uh, things without giving headaches to anybody, basically. All right. So that's the first thing that you might be doing wrong in AutoCAD. And let's go with the next one. All right. So the next one is losing work when undo. 
So basically, this is a thing that, again, you might be doing wrong because if we go to this, okay, we're gonna use the same drawing. Um, and let's say you are working on your drawing and then for by accident, you erased something in your drawing, right? Let's say I erased this column over here. And then I keep, you know, drawing, I keep, you know, working and just um, drawing more over here. Like, you know, uh, you keep working without noticing that you erased something by accident, right? So you draw a lot of things, you spend it, you know, maybe 30, 40 minutes working on something. And then um, you realize that, you know, you copy something here, who knows? This is just for the purpose of showing you that losing work when you undo, it's something that you are doing wrong. So now you realize, oops, my, column is gone. So of course, this might be something more complex than a column. A column, you know, you can redraw it, but let's say there was something complex that you erased by accident. Now, if you, you're probably gonna have to undo, right? With control C, undo, 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 um, until you lose, right? If you undo, 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 you're gonna lose everything um, till you see your column show up again, you will lose all of your progress. But you don't, you don't want to do that. Let me show you a better way of doing it, right? So a better way of doing it is without losing your work, of course, and bring back whatever you erased by accident is this. So let's select everything, your whole drawing, and let's use the shortcut, Control, Shift, and C. Oops. Well, let's use the shortcut, Control, and C, as you regular would use for copy, right? Control, C. So once you do that, you are now safe to undo. So if I do Control, Z, Z, I'm gonna lose this, but don't worry, Control, Z, Z, I'm gonna do one more time, control Z, I'll lose this other work, control Z, Z, and here is my column, right? So that's my column, but I lost my work. So basically at this point, you can select everything again and erase it because since you used the control C before undoing, now you can use the control V as Victor, and you can see, oops, let me, let me. So I'm gonna select everything but the column, right? So once you erase that, you can do Control V and you will have your progress over here and your column or whatever you erased. So at this point, you can simply place it in the, in the location that you, um, that you need it, right? But you will have your work as well as as well as as well of whatever you erased by accident, and you won't have to lose any work, right? Okay, so let's go with the next um, thing that you might doing wrong in AutoCAD. So the next one is gonna be. Trimming and extending objects. So basically, um, what you might be doing wrong is, let's say I have this example and I need to extend these uh, storefront lines over here. So you might be using the extend command, right? As you regularly will use, and then you you will start extending these lines over here. And then you you finish the command and then, okay, I need to trim now. So I'll start the trim command. And then I need to trim my lines over here and so on, right? But 
there is a shortcut or a shorter way to do this and let me show you so let's undo that okay and then start the extend command again so ex for extend and then once you do that start extending your objects and at this point you don't need to exit the extend command to change to trim command why because you could simply hold the shift key on your keyboard and it will change to the trim command if you hold the shift and you can start trimming your objects without canceling the extend and again starting the trim command so if i hold you need to hold the shift on your keyboard and you can start trimming and again as you can see on the command line you are using the extend command but you are also trimming at the same time isn't that great so at this point i can simply press escape and you'll be ready to go so again this will work even when you are trimming and then you can switch to extend holding the shift on your keyboard or vice versa as we just did it with the extend command all right so let's move uh, to the next thing that you might be doing wrong and this would be moving objects instead of stretching so let me go to this um, elevation again to show you uh, this uh, thing that you might be doing wrong. So I remember uh, when I started in AutoCAD, I used to, um, you know, let's say for instance here, I need to move this storefront two feet to the left over here. So, you know, I used the move command selected my objects and then move my objects over here oops move my objects like that two feet to the left and then at this point i'll have to fix my other storefront right i'll have to fix this ex start extending this and so on and trimming and blah 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 but that's the wrong way. You never had to do that. Instead, let me undo that and let me show you a better way of doing this. So let's go undo. All right. So instead, use the stretch command. So if you do S for a stretch and simply, you know, go here till here, you can stretch this two feet to the left and you can see that you moved your storefront two feet to the left and you don't have to fix anything around it so that's a uh, something big that you might be doing wrong especially when you start in AutoCAD so again try to uh, change that mentality of moving objects and let's see if you can stretch it instead so all right so next let's go now with the next thing that you might be doing wrong. So the next one is erasing XREF without detaching. Yes. So let me go over here. And so what you might be doing wrong here is Let's say I have these, oops, I was working on uh, something for my thumbnails, but anyway. So this is an extra, right? If you can see over here is a raster image or extra also called. And many people, what they do is they simply, you know, erase their extra using the erase command or simply using the delete key on, on the keyword. Right, so delete. Um, but that's wrong because you know why it will cause problems in the future, not even not only to you but to your coworkers because when you delete something, and especially an extra, 
And if you go to the external reference, your XREF will still show over here on the external reference palette, even though you erase it from your drawing. So, and you will be collecting here missing XREFs, which will cause problems and headaches in the future. Um, so I'm telling you because I, I experienced this. And so instead, let me show you the better way of doing it, right? You don't want to cause headaches to you in the future, neither to your coworkers or even boss. So whenever you want to erase an extra from your drawing. I didn't understand that. Oops. So instead of erasing it here, you have to open your extra palette and erase it from here. So from here, you need to detach your extra. So once you click detach, you can see that your extra is gone. All right. So that's the way, the right way to do this, to rewrite extras. However, let me show you a quicker way. So for me, if I want to erase my extra and hit the delete key on my keyboard, I have this reminder um, that says, hey, this is a extra, would you like to detach this image? So, and of course I will have to say yes. Would you like to detach the image? Yes. So now once I go here, my XREF, it's also detached from me, from my XREF palette, which is great. So the way that you can have this reminder is because I installed these raster tools over here. That's why it gives me this pop-up option or reminder. So if you wanna have that, you can simply um, go to your Autodesk, um, to your Autodesk, Autodesk, sign in, and of course, sign in over here. I'm not gonna sign in over here, but you got the idea, right? Or oh, maybe I should sign in. So once you go here, you can find the raster um, options on product and services. So, of course, this is if you have the regular uh, version of AutoCAD. So, as you can see over here, we have AutoCAD DWG. Um, and if you go to products and updates, you will see this raster, um, AutoCAD raster image option. So, you can download it and then you'll have that option that I just show you, all right? So those were um, some of the um, wrong things that you are doing in AutoCAD. So again, uh, these came from, thanks to my supporter,